Today's lesson, you're going to have to pay very close attention to uh, words and to the order of things. Today we're going to talk about another way of thinking about probability. We're going to talk about odds. A lot of people confuse these two, probability and odds. They're actually a little bit different. They both have to do with the a number of ways something can happen. However, there is a slight difference. Uh, notice a couple words to highlight here in your definitions. Odds is a comparison. There should be one word that's screaming out in your head right now. Comparison. Think ratio. A ratio of favorable to unfavorable. When you see favorable or unfavorable, think number of ways it could happen and number of ways it will not happen. Okay? So uh, another thing to highlight here is that this is part to part. So when somebody talks about the probability of flipping heads on a coin, a lot of times they'll say, well, it's 50-50. Uh, it's uh, it's oh, no, it's not 50-50. You're talking about 50% to 50%. That's not probability. It's actually just 50%. It's one half. The two represents the whole thing, okay? Represents every possible outcome. The one represents just the number of ways you could get heads, okay? Odds is a little bit different. If you do the odds of flipping heads, so a lot of people say probability and odds, same thing. No, odds of flipping heads is one to one. Because if you look at probab or if you look at the definition here, odds in favor and odds against. Okay, odds in favor, again, a ratio, these are both ratios, of favorable to unfavorable. And then notice the order in the words here. For odds against, you start with the bad stuff. Unfavorable to favorable. Okay? So odds in favor is the number of ways it could happen. In other words, one way to get ahead to the number of ways it would not happen. There's one tail. One head, one tail. One to one would be the odds in favor of flipping heads. Odds against is when you do the number of ways it will not happen to the number of ways it will happen, okay? And then, uh, you notice how closely this relates to probability. It's close, but not quite. Probability is the number of ways it could happen to the total number of possibilities. Total number of possibilities includes both things here, right? It's the sum of the numbers. It's the sum of everything that could happen. So that's ways it could and ways it couldn't together, okay? So let's take a look at what this means. All right. 120 students stop at McDonald's. Each student gets one game piece and each and six win a free meal. Well, if we were doing just straight probability, let's go ahead and skip down here. Probability of winning. Well, there are 120 game pieces that are out there because there's 120 students. So the total number of possible outcomes is 120. Okay, there's 120 you could possibly win. Only six of them do, though. So 6 out of 120, if I divide by 6 here, I get 1 out of every 20 students win. Okay? Think of this in terms of the odds, though. Odds in favor. Circle that word favor. Uh, circle that word against. This means we're going to take everyone who wins, 6 people, and we're going to compare it to the number of ways you could lose. Well, if there are 6 winners... That means I gotta take them out of the entire group, right? So here's my, here's my entire group of 120 students. Here's my students. This little circle here is my winners. And everybody else, that's my losers. I'm gonna take my winners out of that group. So that leaves me with 114 losers. So my ratio here of winners to losers is six to 114. And then I can simplify, and that gives me 1 to 19. Now notice, how, notice how close that is for 1 to 20. A little other minor difference between odds and probability. Odds, we're going to use the colon. Probability, we're going to use the fraction. Odds against, so remember, odds in favor is winners to losers. Number of ways it could happen to the number of ways it can happen. We have one way you could win, 19 ways you could not win. One winner for every 19 losers. Okay, and that comes from having six winners for every 114 uh, losing students. 
Odds against just takes that and flips it. It says, this one, we're going to put the losers first. So 19 losers for every one winner. Okay? Notice the work here. Here I need to show where I got the 114 from. I expect to see this on your, your homework. I need to see the simplifying, and I need to see the final ratio. For odds against, if I ask you both of these, all you have to do is flip it. Okay? You don't have to show the work twice here. Okay? So again, notice the difference, though, between odds and probability. It's close. Notice why this is 20. This is 20 because that includes the 19 winners and or the 19 losers and the one winner. Again, hope you're paying attention to the words here. It's very important. All right, let's talk about how we convert them from odds to probability. Okay, so my odds in favor. A couple things I want you to box here. The word favor. That should highlight in your mind that the winners are coming first. Okay. One to six. So if this is odds in favor, that means one winner and six losers. So the probability of winning that, remember probability, think of the definition. Number of ways it could happen. So how many ways are there for us to win? There's one. To the total number of possible outcomes. If you look at our definition up here, remember we said on the first page, total number, you would take number of ways you could win, plus the number of ways you can lose. Well, I can win one way, I can lose six ways, so one plus six gives me one out of seven. If there's one winner to six losers, because that's what odds, odds in favor means, the one winner to six losers, that means I'm going to have a total of seven players, right? So the total number of possibilities is seven, so it's one over one plus six. Let's go the other way. Again, highlight, odds against. That means when I get my, my, uh, my odds of, of 599 to 1, there are 599 losers, one winner. And again, the other thing I want you to, uh, to highlight, what are they asking for? Probability of winning. Because they won't always ask probability of winning. What if they want to know the probability of losing? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to that little sentence that has this little symbol on the end. That's the what you want to solve for. So my probability of winning here. Since it says odds against, you need to be thinking that that means it's losers first, then winners. So I have 599 losers, one winner. Probability is the number of ways it could happen. So if I'm doing probability of winning, number of ways I can win is one. The total number of outcomes is 599 plus one. 599 losers plus one winner gives me a total of 600 players only one of them will win. Okay? So this just really highlights how closely related probability and odds are. Very close, but it's two different ratios. And probability is the ratio of uh, number of ways it could happen to the everything, total number of possibilities. That's part of the, of the group to the whole group. Whereas odds is part of the group to the other part of the group. So you split the group into two things. All right, one more. Let's go the other way. If I'm given a probability, so my probability of winning is uh, 1 to 25, we need to find odds in favor and odds against. Well, a couple things you need to, you need to understand here. This 25, think about that. what that means. 25 is everyone. That's the total, total number of possibilities. One, if this is the probability of winners, uh, probability of winning, this is how many winners there are. Okay, so if I'm doing odds in favor, again, highlight the words. It's important that you put it in the right order. Odds in favor, well, let's see, that would be winners to losers. I know from my, my ratio up here that I have one winner, and now all i got to do is figure out my number of losers, because this is everyone. So just like before, I've got to take everyone and, and separate my one winner from that group because I don't want to do winners to the entire group. I want to do one part of the group to the other part of the group, the winning part of the group to the losing part of the group. So that's going to be one winner for every 24 losers. Okay? And then odds against, we already showed the work up above, so we just flip it. Not much work to show, but that's where you have to be careful when there's not much work. It's easy to make a mistake. All right, down here. Again, pay attention to the little sentence that has this symbol 
on the end. It wants to know the odds against winning. That means we're going to put losers first, winners second. Notice you got to know those definitions, odds against versus odds in favor. Let's talk about what the one-tenth means. That's the probability of winning. Be careful because sometimes they'll give you the probability of losing. You have to be careful there. So that means the one, there's one winner. The 10 is everyone. Okay, so if I do the odds against, that means the winners are coming after the colon. There's one winner. And then I need to find the number of losers. Well, there are 10 players. That includes winners and losers. To get the number of losers, I'm going to, I'm going to separate the one winner out of that. So 10 minus 1 gives me 9 losers to 1 winner. That's odds against. If I wanted odds in favor, that would just be 1 to 9. Okay? Your homework tonight. Uh, again, you will not be typing your answer into blended schools. You will simply be, uh, you'll simply be opening the, the folder beneath this video, and you'll be doing your quick check on paper. Good luck.